Hey everybody, this is Miss Danny. Are you ready for story time? I sure am. Today, you're gonna need your trusty towel for parachute time, but also, if you still have your shaker that you made the other day, get it out or make a new one. This is just a Tupperware container full of bird seed because that's what I had handy. You could put paper clips in it, you could put rice in it, you could put little figurines in it, all sorts of stuff. Anything that makes it shake, makes a sound when you shake it. Um, you can be creative. Whatever you put in is going to make its own unique sound, and that's beautiful. All right. Show me how well you wiggle your fingers. Show me how well you wiggle your toes. Can you wiggle your shoulders? And how about your nose? Show me how well you roll your hands. Can you roll them really fast? Now slow. Roll them big for me. Roll them really big. <gasps> Hide them. Where do they go? And catch them and put them on your lap. The word is on the board today, and our first letter is the letter P. Oh my gosh, the sound is right in the name. P, P, P. Yes, ready to sing our song? Here we go. P says P. P says P. Every letter makes a sound, and P says P. Let's write it, fingers up. We make a long line down, then we go back to the top and we make a circle, but we stop right in the middle of our long line and that's how we write a P. Our next letter on the board is one of our tricky switchy vowels. It's an I. Today, our I makes a I, I, I sound. You ready to sing? Here we go. I says I. I says I. Every letter makes a sound and I says I. Ready to write it? Fingers up. We draw a long line down and then we go back to the top, but we go out into the sky a little bit and zoom across. Then we go to the bottom out in the sky a little bit and we zoom across again. And that's how we write an I. Our last letter on the board is the letter G. It makes a Ah, you beat me to it. Very good. G, g, g sound. Are you ready to sing? Here we go. G says g. G says g. Every letter makes a sound and G says g. Fingers up. And around we go like we're writing a circle. And then we go choon, up. And then we go woo, in. And it's like we're poking the circle in the belly, isn't it? Boom. All right, and that is how you write your G. Let's sound out our word. Our P says P, our I says I, and our G says G, P, I, G, pig, pig. Can you make a piggy noise for me? Nice. <coughs> Some people say oink, 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 oink. Both are excellent options. Do you have a guess as to what's under my hat? The word is an excellent clue. Are you ready? Let's get some magic. We count to three and then we clap. We count to three and then we tap. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, clap. One, two, three, tap. Let us see what's under my hat. <laughs> Guys, it's a pig. This little pig says, <laughs> Oink, 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 oink. All right, I know a song with a pig in it. Maybe you can help me sing along. Are you ready? Here we go. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had a pig, E-I-E-I-O. With an oink, oink here and an oink, oink there. Here, oink, there, and oink, everywhere, and oink, oink. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. There's some more stuff in my hat, ready? And on his farm, he had a... That's not an animal, is it? What is that, guys? It's a hammer. Okay. What does a hammer do? Well, you use it to bang in nails or bang things. So 
Old MacDonald had a hammer, E-I-E-I-O. With a bang, bang here and a bang, bang there. Here a bang, there a bang, everywhere a bang, bang. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a... A screwdriver? Fair enough. He had a screwdriver. E-I-E-I-O. Show me how you twist things with your screwdriver. Can you twist with me? All right. With a twist, twist here and a twist, twist there. Here a twist, there a twist everywhere. A twist, twist. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a saw. A saw. E-I-E-I-O. Can you show me how you saw back and forth with your arms? Yeah, we're going to saw some wood there with a shh, shh. That's how a straw, that's how a saw sounds when you're sawing some wood. Ready? And on his farm, he had a saw. E-I-E-I-O. With a shh, shh here and a shh, shh there. Here a shh, there a shh, everywhere a shh, shh. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. Well, Old MacDonald's farm didn't have a lot of animals on it, but it sure did have a lot of tools. And I happen to know a story about some little pigs who used lots of tools to build their house. More than one pig, actually three pigs. I'm gonna go and get that story set up and I'll see you in this story in just a few minutes, guys. Hang on for me. Once upon a time, there were one, two, three little pigs who had grown up enough to move out of their parents' house and get some houses of their own. So they left to seek their fortune, or in other words, to build their own houses. Well, the first little pig didn't want to spend lots of time building. He just wanted to get it over and done with so he could enjoy his book. So he built his house out of straw. See our cool little house? Yeah. He built his house out of straw. It was over and done with, and he went inside to relax. A little while later, along came a wolf. The wolf knocked on the door of the pig's house with a bang, bang, bang. And he said, little pig, little pig, let me in. Well, that little pig knew that wolves like to eat little pigs. So he replied, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Well, that wolf said, okay, then I'm going to huff and I'm going to puff and I'm going to blow. Oh my gosh, that wolf blew the little pig's house right away. Well, that little pig escaped out the back door and ran to his brother's house. Well, the next brother, he had built his house and spent a little more time on it, but not much. He made his house out of sticks. He was inside relaxing when his brother came running and said, There was a wolf! He explained the whole story to his brother. Well, that wolf followed the first little pig, not wanting to let his meal get away. And he walked up to the house made of sticks and he said, Little pigs, little pigs, let me in. They both replied, Not by the hair of our chinny chin chin! Well, that wolf huffed, and he puffed, and he blew that house of sticks right down. Those two little pigs escaped out the back door, and they ran to their brother's house, who had just finished building his house out of bricks. They explained the situation with the wolf, and all three piggies went inside. Now, the third piggy had spent a lot of time building this house. It was strong, and it was tough. 
Well, along came that wolf, and he came up to the house and knocked on the door. He said, Little pig, little pig, let me in. Well, all three piggies said, Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Well, that wolf huffed, and he puffed, and he blew, but nothing happened. So he huffed, and he puffed, and he again, but still nothing happened. He tried one more time. He huffed, and he puffed, and he the piggies were safe inside. The only thing left for the wolf to do was to climb up onto the roof of the house and go down the chimney. Well, inside the house, the piggies had put a big pot underneath the chimney with some fire underneath. So when that wolf came down the chimney, he landed right into the hot of bottom right into the pot of water and he went Whoa! and ran away never to be seen again well the three little piggies all worked together to build houses out of brick they took their time they did a good job and they lived happily ever after the end Welcome back from the story of the three little pigs. It's a good one, isn't it? And you know, um, that hair dryer thing where the, it blew down the little structures, it's a great science experiment. What kind of structures can you build that can resist the big bad wolf? I bet you can find some cool things around your house to build with and then test it with your parents' hair dryer. See if you can knock it down. Um, we're going to take a music break, and can you pull out your shakers for me? Uh, thank you, Lori Berkner, for letting us use your song called I Know a Chicken. Oh, I know a chicken. I know a chicken. Yeah, she laid an egg. She laid an egg. Yeah, I know a chicken. I know what you can. She laid an egg. She laid an egg. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's a shaky egg. It's a shaky egg. Now shake them. Shake it fast.
what did you get? And she laid an egg. Isn't that a great song? Um, one you can look up. Uh, I, I've got the link down below so you can play it again with your shaker afterwards. Now, there's a classic song that I really like, and I bet you know it. Um, and I'll play it on my ukulele. And it's considered a nursery rhyme, but it's cool because it's about building. And it's, it's called London Bridge. And the London Bridge is a real thing. It's over in London, and it's this giant bridge. And um, the song is about London Bridge and it falling down. So every time it goes to fall down, let's fall down together, okay? Here we go. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my friend. Now, did you know that a lot of nursery rhymes have other verses? So the next verse of this nursery rhyme is build it up with iron and bars. So <clears throat> our iron bars are strong, okay? So with this verse, we're going to flex. Here we go. Build it up with iron bars, iron bars, iron bars. Build it up with iron bars, my fair lady. All right, the next verse is that the iron bars are gonna bend and break. Ready, we're gonna break those bars, here we go. Iron bars will bend and break, bend and break, bend and break. Iron bars will bend and break my fair lady and the last verse they decide to build it up with silver and gold all right ready here we go build it up with uh, silver and gold silver and gold silver and gold build it up with silver and gold my fair lady all right so that's a fun nursery run um and I bet your parents know it. Um, and there's also a lot of fun games that you can play about collapsing on top of your siblings and things. Um, but there's one more thing I'd like to do, and it's a song about a house factory. And it goes, hi, my name is Joe, and I work in a house factory one day. My boss came to me and said, Joe, hammer that nail with your right hand. Hi. My name is Joel, and I work in a house factory one day. My boss came to me and said, Joe, hammer that house with your other hand. Hi, my name is Joel, and I work in a house factory one day. My boss came to me and said, Joe, build that house with your foot. Oh, gosh. I'm working really hard. Here we go. Hi. My name is Joe, and I work in a house factory one day. My boss came to me and said, Joe, build that house with your other foot. Are you with me? Are we working this hard? Holy guacamole. Okay. Hi, my name is Joe, and I work in a house factory one day. My boss came to me and said, Joe, build that house with your head. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Hi, my name is Joe, and I work in a house factory one day. My boss came to me and said, Joe, build that house with your body. Oh. Oh. Hi, my name is Joe, and I work in a house factory one day. My boss came to me and said, Joe, take a break. So I did. Whoa. <laughs> Nice building, you guys. All right. Do you have your towels ready for parachute time? All right, let's get them. All right. And up high and down low. Up high again and down low. And put it on your legs. 
and we are snug as a bug in a rug. Again with me, snug as a bug in a rug. Can you show me how you move the towel with your legs? Move it, move it, move it. Kick it with your toes if you can. That's awesome. All right, now let's move it with our hands. Can you move it really fast? Really, really fast. No, slow. Slow, and we'll sing. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. What happens next? The storm. Are you ready? Here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. So fast. All right. So who should we say hello to when we lift up our parachute today? Um, how about we say hello to the animals outside? All right. We'll start with the birds. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Hello, birds! Um, how about the worms down in the dirt getting ready for our flowers? Ready? One, two, three. Hello, worms! Who else? Oh, deer. The deer in the woods. Let's say that. One, two, three. Hello, deer! Um, bunny rabbits. I see lots of bunny rabbits outside. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Hello, bunnies! Oh, <laughs> right in my face. And hello to you. Thank you for spending your time with me today. I hope you're doing well and that I get to see you again soon. Love you. Bye.